seeds, pointed dripstone, sand, pumpkin, kelp, bucket of tropical fish. The sand is very useful. However, I am not currently in the market for sand. Now, for this kill chamber, I would like to point out that, uh, yes, I do plan on still relying upon... the magma blocks being here. However... I do intend to make use of these magma blocks still. The reason why I'm making use of the of these magma blocks is because the magma blocks will draw the enemies down. It will force the enemies down into the ground where they will uh, find themselves uh, getting forced to come into contact with a trident. That trident is going to be getting pushed all around by these pistons that I'm going to be installing. Which is why I am currently carving out these wall sections. one good question. Uh, I believe it was the observer was watching the dropper in the corner, but the piston was firing from below it. signal it is, uh, which means 
that's solid, that's solid, that's solid, and that's solid. Uh, that additionally means that... Uh, now, this is going to make this extremely noisy. Unless I swap these solid blocks out for hoppers, but that's not really... Uh, that's not really advisable either. Um... What I could do is I could have the observer... Uh, affecting the dropper firing into the hopper here. That would quiet the hot, the, uh, the dispensers. So this is why you're using dispensers in the first place, is because dispensers can interact with hoppers. Now, some people do not like using hoppers in their redstone contraption builds for various reasons, one of which being that hoppers definitely increases the cost of the build. Uh, I need to swim up to the surface in order to visit the redstone component storage. Then I need to retrieve hoppers. I only need four. My laptop died. Oh well. It's Windows 10. It's dying all the time. In this case, it got a critical process died error, which is unfortunate, but whatever. You know, gets that error all the time. It still needs to be taken in and uh, checked for what it might need to get repaired. Uh, I basically need to take it into the shop, get it looked at. Uh, or I could do it myself. Either one. If I do it myself, I'll probably save a little bit of money that way. Slime. No. All right, the stone bricks. There, 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 and there. And then that leaves room for the observer getting placed. Is it that way? Uh, I don't remember. Yes. of my stone cutter and craft four stone brick stairs. What will end up happening is that I can make use of these stairs in order to create the bubble column. Um, 
Fuck it. See? I knew I would remember what I needed eventually. I don't need that, ma that much material. I need my buckets. Those buckets are apparently all the way up here with the redstone components. Or no, that's it's probably with the uh, with the mob loot actually. are not in there. Where are the buckets? I should have two more pairs of buckets. Because I know there's a pair all the way out at the Iron Golem farm, but why would I leave both pairs out there? I don't think I needed both pairs out there. Oh, that's what I did with the other pair. I put axolotls in them. Okay, well, looks like I'm visiting the Iron Golem farm then, because I need buckets of water. Away we go. Yes, yes, yes. Um, yeah, I was looking at the uh, villager breeder from Silent Whisper in order to uh, look up how I wanted to build this. Okay, there's some iron shovels, but where is water buckets? Oh, I actually have smooth stone half slabs right here. Well, in that case, I've got water buckets. I've got smooth stone half slabs now. I'm good to go. stop me. to install the water sources. in my inventory. 
because I want to apply water source there. does not accidentally get flooded in the future. And if it does get flooded, it's a small flood, very well contained. And additionally, will not be very difficult to clean up because all of the mess will be contained to one area. Inside these, uh, inside these hoppers. What that will cause is quite simply a, uh, a a series of firings from the pistons. I additionally need to actually go ahead and throw the trident down into there in order to set it up as an actual trident killer. I want to have my impaling five trident for this task. Now, this should work. Oops. As long as I don't pick it up right away. <laughs> and for the final piece, it is an observer.
observer facing there. sequence did that not work did I want droppers and not dispensers I feel that should have worked Bug it. Yeah, it's not carrying the signal. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. That means that it's just going to be noisy. Unless I point them up into hoppers. Apparently harvested some stairs at a point. Ah, right. Right there, of course. Trying to hurry to avoid taking as much damage as possible, but that endeavor is being frustrating.
Okay. Now, for this to transmit, it needs a solid block there. install that rail yet. <laughs> okay. This needs a solid block there in order for this to transmit properly. This can go pointing there because it's going to be pointing into a dispenser. I need some temporary blocks in order to stand up high enough to actually place the dispenser facing the proper direction. direction. place an arrow in there. Then I need to go around to these other ones. Thank you. 
making good progress here. for where I left that other one. Where did I leave it? Things are very expensive. I don't want to just leave them lying around. Let me put some things away. Are you kidding me? They're in bubble columns. They shouldn't be disappearing. Oh, this is frustrating. Okay, so what happened was... It's all four, right? Yeah. Uh, we are missing one dispenser. Uh, we had four. I don't know where the fourth one went. going to explore around the immediate area, see if I spot it. I don't think I will. Yeah, I didn't think so. We had four, and we lost one. Which means we don't have a complete kill chamber. On top of that, the item collection was quite severely damaged in the process of building this entire thing. <sighs> this is quite the mess.
top of all of that, the stairs had lost their water source. What I can do to salvage this is I can manually fire the trident killer myself. Doesn't have to be too precise. Is it just shooting the arrows? That's not good. Um, what about string? This is just incredibly noisy for whatever reason. Um,
Okay, so I'm also missing a few rails. So, I think I know specifically what it is that I ended up lacking, what it is I'm missing here. sound effect is, but my computer seems to be making that sound effect for whatever reason. Okay. Now I need to combine the minecart with the hopper in order to make the minecart hopper which can now travel along in there, picking up all of the random items that I will be collecting. And gathering them into the proper place. Where is that? This one? to respond to him. I'm messaging my friend Jimmy about my play online login info so that I may uh, play Final Fantasy XI again in the future. Because I have it installed on my laptop, I just don't have the old login credentials. And the login recovery info of Final Fantasy XI is very simple. Uh, don't forget your username and password. There is your login recovery info. <laughs> don't forget your info. Um, yeah, it's it's a very secure method of you know storing all of your information because if you forget your information, you're just out of luck. You can't really recover it. <laughs> There's not much you can do about it. Therefore, it's very secure. Um, it's so secure, in fact, that if you forget your password, you're just out of luck. Uh, 
yeah, I shall, uh, you know, noises aside, I shall install this trapdoor to allow it to start, you know, actually killing things. And then I'm going to go ahead and start looking into spawning some monsters. And let's see what kind of loot we get when we have managed to have a player kill a spider or a skeleton or army thereof while holding a looting three sword. Uh, anyways, I shall, uh, I shall actually stop the recording here, go ahead and upload these videos. Uh, I might live stream a little bit of Space Engineers while I wait, uh, but I will actually just allow this to idle for a while. Um, I have not gotten any food yet. But, I look forward to seeing what kind of loot we get. Um, hopefully it's good loot. I want it to be good loot. Uh, one thing I can do is I have the option of installing windows along here. This will allow me to very easily see just how many skeletons are we getting, are they getting stuck on anything, stuff like that. Yeah, it looks like they're getting a little bit stuck, but then every now and then they'll just stop fighting it. And they'll just plop on down to the next section. And of course there's also the occasion when someone comes along and just bumps them. We additionally 
No, we don't want to install windows on there because that's the actual spawning chamber. Uh, which is unfortunate because, you know, that would benefit greatly from having some windows on it. Uh, what we can add windows on, however, is the Pit of Doom. We can add some windows here. Make it so we can see what's going down, both literally and metaphorically. Ooh, that guy's got some enchanted leather. Uh, let's actually see. Let's see what we've got so far. Just in this short amount of time, let's see what we've gathered. Um, hi, spider. How did you get out? See, that's the type of thing that I'm always wanting to be cautious of, is how are they getting out? Probably through that corner that is not a solid block. Kind of why you want solid blocks uh, all throughout this thing. Okay. We have gathered a decent quantity of resources. However, none of this appears to be uh, you know, useful for our, uh, our design here. Are they even, like, Getting hit with it in there. I mean, I can see it doing its thing. I guess it's just the magma blocks are being a little too effective at the right time. Or something like that. Either way, uh, I'll let this run for a while and then I shall uh, check back later. Uh, I'm going to do some live streaming. Assuming my laptop doesn't crash on me, which it happens to do every now and then. <laughs> Matter of fact, I believe it's in the middle of crashing right now. Uh, anyways, uh, stay safe. I shall catch you in the next episode. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It helps me out a lot. It helps the channel. It tells YouTube that this is the type of content that you enjoy seeing. Stay safe out there.